using my own data. Because we need each other, guys. If we don't 
talk about them. We are all going to be upset. So let's say it. Let's talk about things that make us upset. Let's talk about things that are going to make us whole. Let's talk about the things that are going to make us a better industry. Music is something that is going to be there for a very long time. And remember, music is business. And we need to take ourselves seriously as musicians as well. Remember, you've got God-given talent. You need to nurture that talent, guys. We appreciate managers, yes. But managers also have to nurture us as well and appreciate us and not see us as their cash cows. We need each other. We come a long way as artists. From a record company to a manager to the administrator to the person who makes coffee for us, it's a great value chain. We need each other and we need to work with one another. What is nice today is that Africa is open for business, as I said. Musicians from Morocco can record with an artist from South Africa. And a South African artist can record with an artist from Swaziland or from Kenya or from, Tanz from Tanzania. So Africa is open to one another. We need to start tolerating each other, working with each other, learning from one another and respecting each other's culture. That is the most important thing. Our governments do work together. I've just been appointed two months ago by NEPAT, which works with the ANU. I'm actually very happy that Madame Angela is here today. And they have been supporting this from the inception. So you can see that even governments are taking the arts very seriously. It's us, the people in the arts, who do not take ourselves seriously. When are we going to take ourselves seriously? When are we going to see proper record companies in Africa? When are we going to see proper record companies in Africa, where we do proper distribution? Where artists are getting proper royalties? Is there a royalty uh, uh, distribution in Ghana? There is? That's very good. A proper distribution company? Yes. yes. Gamu. <laughs> a proper answer. Gamu. Yes. A proper the musician answer. Yes. Oh, that's very good. I'm happy. I'm happy to get that. Musician's answer. A proper distribution. Hold on. You see, the problem is there. These people who do a 
So as we yeah. share what we all meet and we make decisions, we know that, okay, for this quarter, for this six months, we've collected only, give or take, one million pesos. If you distribute, some parts may be getting as low as 100. Right. And so why not just wait another six months so that at least when you do, because there's a cost of distribution. And so if you just distribute very meager amounts and you have had the cost, it's better you keep that cost, add it to it, and share. But as a journey, it's a work in progress. Gamera is coming up. I mean, musicians are, so many musicians who have never received royalties before. I've received royalties. They used to be so many ghost names in a register. They are all going up. So, Ghanaian musicians are
You go and check the chapel back on stage to take their seat as we invite our other panelists as well. And so, Mr. Vice has said before, since you're already standing, you're one of our panelists, we'd like to invite you to take a seat as well. But then we go check the chapel. Can you please come back and take a seat? So, there was a lot of commotion in the hall when Vice was speaking, so we should not let him the book. You should sit here and answer when the money is coming and how much is coming. So while she also takes her seat, I would like to invite next, Bobby Wine. And, and, and there's a gentleman kind of sneaking as well. You know, he knew this is for him. It's a common deal. We'll talk a little bit more about him as we go ahead. But he's a man that you should know. I saw Hamza earlier. Is Hamza still in the auditorium? Hamza, yes. Kindly join us as well. Hamza Arab family. Can we also have Gervais Hugh Udaye? Gervais, pardon me. S'il vous plaît, Gervais. Is he around? Okay. Okay. So I believe we have everyone here. Now what we'll do is we'll allow them to absolutely themselves. All right, so what we've tried to do is to ensure that we have a cross-section of people from different generations, but we also have different experiences, whether it's talking about longevity in music and successful entrepreneurship in music, or social activism in music, being able to rally people around a cause full of music, or from North Africa, or in Ghana at home, we're talking about royalties, and we really like this to be an interactive session, which means we want to hear from you. There's a room back before, please make it available. If you want to talk, please put your hands up and pose your question because we want to leave any answers to your questions. But before that, we'll give a few minutes, just five minutes, to each speaker of the panel to introduce themselves briefly and to tell us a bit about how, uh, what they have to, to share with us about their the opportunities in the music business today. So we're going to go straight up with it with the gentleman that I respect very much for being true to the country of Africa. It's a colored game. All right, and before he speaks, I'd also like to invite one more person on stage. I wish you probably not going to see this, but Pearl, if you can kindly join us. Pearl is an actress. I see the great thing on stage from South Africa. One of our co hosts for the Opera Mount Awards happening on Saturday. And so we need to hear from her as well. Surprise, bro. Take this one. Nice to meet you. Okay, so let's go ahead and could also speak a bit more on the topic and then we'll carry on. Uh, can you ask you? Okay. I, I personally want to be a girl here before I, I, I do my thing because I think that is, as important as music, as music is and we all in the music industry in this room, what we have to realize that music, film and TV, sports, the entire space is tied together. We should not separate them from the islands of the world. They all speak to each other, they all work with each other. If you, if you see what's happening in North America, a guy that was rapping five years ago, ten years ago, is only the biggest TV show on We Are Talented. And in not one dimension, which is why I asked Pearl to sit here, because I believe that she's one of the most talented actresses that this continent has produced. And so I want to know the people. Yeah, I want to come here, the film industry, all this kind of 